Enhance have been a very, very valuable partner of ours uh, for the past um, two years now. As a football club, the whole space of equality and inclusion is quite a new topic internally. And I think um, with the support of external partners, um, like Kick It Out, Show Race and the Red Card, uh, Stonewall, I think it's really helped us um, as a club and especially as a foundation to really fine-tune what we should be doing out in our uh, programs, out in the communities we work in, but more importantly it's around the culture of the organisation. Basically trying to support everybody in the roles that they play in a subject that, to be honest, can be quite um, scary for people. And I think that's the biggest thing for us. I did, what I didn't want to do um, as an organisation is um, enforce and embed a piece of work that ultimately we wanted to be horizontal across the organisation seamlessly through all of the areas of our, our business but not in a way that hasn't already supported everybody so it supports their understanding, supports their knowledge, supports their implementation, how, what, what tools do they use to implement some of our methods and I think what Enhanced uh, did initially was to come in um, and uh, provide a really independent voice around um, where we were then back in uh, I think it was July 2015. Mm -hmm. It was uh, an incredibly worthwhile exercise um, so Jen and, uh, and Emily came in um, and really unpicked us as an organisation as a department within the club and gave an honest and reflective uh, audit uh, which could have just been that right so we could have just used that audit and said right now we know what we're doing we're off but actually what we decided to do was to pick apart that even further and understand actually what we needed was um, a curriculum a framework of sort an access framework which then brought to life all of their recommendations some of the requirements around our training um, and how we were going to do that and I think that's been the most valuable part of our I suppose phase two our year two part of the program a number of training programs a number of um, workshops with stakeholders invited with partners to our wider workforce and what we hope we're not quite there yet in terms of completing the, the second year what we hope is that actually it's done more than just giving people information toolkits I think really the, the indicator to whether or not this has succeeded for us is be, will be then to assess the culture because that's what's important what was really key for this whole piece of work was that it wasn't led by people it was led by the organisation. It couldn't be something that potentially um, a governing body or potentially um, myself was then enforcing, right? And I think that's really important. So what we did is we detached those areas and said, this is, a, this is the recommendation from the audit. This is what we're going to be doing over the next 12 months. So, and what I can see from not being a part of all of it, um, because I think that was quite important for me to step back, what I've seen is conversation. So I've seen people talking about these topics, about some of the um, curriculums and themed workshops and really have a discussion about it. It's thrown up all sorts of problems, uh, logistics, cultures, um, people's uh, own beliefs um, and I think that's that really unpicks then actually, say for example, uh, uh, one of the, the, the modules to unpick actually what that means to the organisation to be able to deliver it long term, sustainably. For me, that's been one of the key successes because I then get brought into conversations and, and then I then probe a little bit more and, and try and understand whether or not there are any issues which may need a bit more input from myself or from other uh, supporting agencies, but to, to first understand actually what, what people in the organisation are thinking. I think that's been a real, real success. All I can say is that what it's done for our organisation, it's given us the, the detailed analysis of what we're trying to achieve. So we've broken down all of our areas of delivery across the whole operation of our business and sense checked it with an equality hat on. And now we're trying to understand, okay, what does that mean for communicating with your partners, communicating with your participants, making reasonable adjustments for participants who want to engage in something that typically hasn't been um, accessible. If you as an organisation in terms of having any advice from me would be if you're concerned about equality and access and, and enabling your provision to be more accessible I would say what Enhance will give you is a very uh, strategic and well thought out approach to how you could you could embed this in, in, in your organisation. I think the main uh, attractions to Enhance has been how it's not all about the, the stat, 
it's not all about the, the clinical view of legislation or, or something that we have to do. It's more been around a very creative way of discussing uh, a cultural problem you may have in your, in your organisation. And I think whilst, yes, the legislation is incredibly important, we need people who are experts in this area to understand how to then actually get to the, get to the right milestone. Uh, in a way that doesn't then cause its own problem. So we've been very fortunate in, in, in the approach that Enhance have adopted. It's broken down a lot of potential barriers.